My name's Allison Chisholm. Uh, my farm, my uh, husband Will Pedersen and I, we farm together here at some Windy Hill Farm, and we're in McKee's Mills. And um, we arrived here. We've been here since uh, October 2009, and this year we're starting to farm seriously. Last year we did a lot of construction, a lot of starting stuff, and this year we're starting our CSA. We're going to be selling at farmers markets at the at farmers market in Sackville, and uh, we're growing mixed vegetables on about an acre of land. And we're going to start some strawberries and raspberries, and hopefully we'll have berries in years to come. And we've got a few goats as well. This is, uh, we call it a cold frame. It's um, basically just a, a framed in structure covered in plastic. It's on the south side of a building of our barn. The, um, the white walls are really useful because it reflects the sunlight back again. And this area, it gets very, very warm when the sun is out. And even when the sun's not out, it's warmer than it is outside. So it's a place where we start the plants. We start um, different vegetables. Right now it's the cold hardy vegetables, the onions, broccoli, cabbages, and things like that that are going to be going into the ground first of all. Um, we start them here to give us a jump on the season so that when the ground is ready we've got small plants going into the ground instead of seeds so it gives us an extra few weeks and um, like I say it's a warm area so they start in here and once we fill up this whole area we're gonna have to start taking some stuff out so we'll harden it off we'll put it outside on benches and it'll start to get used to the outdoor temperature before we put it into the ground uh, soon we've got tomatoes in another small area which are going to be there in small cells like these for now they're going to be potted up into pots and then once they're in pots we're going to move all of these guys out of here and put the potted tomatoes in here because they're more cold sensitive they get the priority spot and more ventilation we've got a door behind there that we open for ventilation and we've got a window here just for a cross flow of air and if we need more ventilation we'll just cut out the plastic and create more um, this whole bench area is heated, so it keeps the plants warm when the temperature goes down below zero. So, underneath here, there's heating cable, and it's the kind of heating cable that you put on the roof to melt snow on the roof. And we just got it at Home Hardware. Um, we put it, ran it in loops on the table, covered it in sand, and hooked it up to a thermostat we have in the box, so everything is thermostatically controlled. And um, right now it's all turned off. At night, we pull plastic covers over top here, and that just keeps the warmth in, and it keeps things from freezing. And once uh, the things that are most susceptible to freezing get this special place, but as they, as the temperature gets a little bit warmer. We move them out onto this bench and they can handle a little bit more cold out here and then we start new stuff on there. So partly it's to you know keep things that are vulnerable to the cold from getting too cold but also to get seeds germinating too because they need a certain temperature to start germinating. Basically the idea behind CSA, uh, which stands for Community Shared Agriculture or Community Supported Agriculture, is that you get customers who are going to pay in advance for the season's harvest. So the farmer incurs a lot of costs early in the season. We have to buy seeds, um, materials, equipment, compost, diesel for the tractors, and all of that cost is at the start of the season to produce the vegetables that you get all season. So if our customers are able to pay you know, either full cost of the vegetables or half of the season's price, then we've got some startup cash. Um, they basically commit to getting vegetables from us. They get them in weekly deliveries. So every week, starting, we're hoping, end of June, early July, we'll put together a box of a variety of vegetables. And in order for that, of course, we have to grow a variety of vegetables. So we have a planting plan that we do up in the winter time that'll ensure that we have a constant supply of varieties. Um, I know people like basic vegetables like carrots and potatoes and onions everybody eats those things but people who sign up for a CSA they also want to try some new vegetables so we're growing things like bulb fennel and radicchio and shallots and interesting vegetables that people might not have heard of and um, when we send them these vegetables we're going to also send information on how to prepare them um, we also you know when we send that out we send out little bits of information on the farm because when people buy a share in a CSA they're not just getting their vegetables but they're connecting to a farm so they're learning about farming, they're getting to know who's growing their food, they learn how their food is produced and they get to find out you know what goes into the food but also how the environment is impacted by the food that's produced. So um, this year we've got about 75 people who signed up for our CSA and um, yeah we're very excited about it, about getting to know these people better and making sure that they eat well throughout the summer season.